Now in this video, we are going to talk something about skewness. Now what exactly is skewness? Now we know about frequency distributions. Now frequency distributions can be of two types. The distributions can be symmetric or the distributions can be asymmetric. That is, there would be a lack of symmetry. And lack of symmetry means skewness. So skewness basically means lack of symmetry. Now, Skewed distributions, so we call them as asymmetric distributions or we can call them as skewed distributions. Now skewness can be of two types. It could be positive, that is the distribution can be positively skewed or the distribution can be negatively skewed, that is there would be negative skewness. Now let us understand with diagrams. Now for symmetric distributions, suppose this is the frequency distribution over here. We have the x-axis and the y-axis. Now if we draw the axis of symmetry at the center, we would see that 50% of the observations lie below the axis and 50% above the axis. Also, in this case, the mean coincides with the median and median coincides with the mode. So, in case of symmetric distribution, mean is equal to median is equal to mode. Now, let's see how a positively skewed distribution looks like. So again, let us draw the x and y axis. Now in this case, the distribution will have a positive tail. So the positive side, you would have more frequencies on the positive side. So in this case, we say the distribution has a positive tail. And in this case, this would be the mode, then we'll have the median, and then we will have the mean. So here we have the mean, here we have the median, and here we have the mode. So in this case, mean is greater than the median is greater than the mode. So this is the case of positively skewed distribution. Now the exact opposite would be applicable for negatively skewed distribution. So let us draw the axis over here. Now in this case the distribution will have a negative tail. So more frequencies would be on the lower side. So something like this. So this would be the mode Next year we'll have the median and here somewhere we'll have the mean. So you have the mean here. Next this is the median and next is the mode. So in this case, for this case, we have mean is less than the median and median is less than the mode. 